look what came in the mail. Babe, okay, so I gotta tell you about this. Today's video is gonna be all about the anatomy scan, but before we get into that, I gotta tell you about this company, and I really wanna thank Diaper for sponsoring today's video. So you guys all know we cloth diaper, we still plan to, but when we use disposable diapers, which is just kind of randomly, like if they have a diaper rash and we wanna use like the heavy duty diaper rash cream, or if like we're out and about, we'll use disposables. This is where it's at. Thank you for modeling the product for you're, me. You're welcome. So the, the thing that's unique about these diapers is they're made mostly out of bamboo. And what's, what's good about that is bamboo is biodegradable. It's also like super soft, like this thing. I wanna put it on my pillow it tonight. Good throw, it? it was good. <laughs> they're super soft, biodegradable, which means they're compostable, which is super exciting. Some people do their own composting, which I think we plan to do at the new house, but there's also like composting facilities in a lot of cities. They're not just going into the landfills like regular disposable diapers, which crazy fact, 30% of non-biodegradable waste is from disposable diapers. Just... That, that's unbelievable and sickening. It is sickening, uh, which is kind of one of the main reasons that we decided to cloth diaper, but with these being compostable, it like is a game changer for disposable diapers. Another thing about bamboo is that they're um, just not as harsh in terms of the chemicals that are used to make the diapers. And they're also naturally hypoallergenic and antimicrobial. So this is a subscription-based service for $64 a month. You're gonna get anywhere between 140 and 200 diapers, which is awesome. Yeah, so you never have too little or too many of an amount. And how many you get just kind of depends on which size your baby is in. So the newborn sizes, you'll get more diapers because Everybody knows newborns go through a lot of diapers, especially two of them. Oh, remember those days? Fondly. <laughs> What's really neat, besides all of that, besides a biodegradable disposable diaper, I'm just, that's, I'm just so excited about that. Um, you guys will get a free diaper bag if you use our link when you order, and that link is trydiaper.com slash brad and rage so uh, go to that website check out their like there's a bunch of information about the company on the website so check it out and get your free diaper bag when you order on to the anatomy scan the car sound really loud uh, it sounds like that's a golf club in the back but it's like, like a help. hum like a it's like a constant i guess it's always that way yeah i mean we are going 70. Yeah. on the highway <laughs> Yep, we're going 70. That's the speed limit. And we're not late. We're going to my doctor's appointment. Well, it's just an ultrasound. This I don't see a doctor. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, we don't we don't see a doctor. Not meet your doctor. No. I know. I see his face on the billboard every Oh my gosh, the lighting's horrible. What? What are you talking about? I see his face Perfect. on the billboard every time I drive back. I didn't know yesterday. he was on a billboard. Last name's Holt, right? <laughs> yep. Yeah, he's on a big billboard. Oh. Did you guys know that we were on a billboard? <laughs> what? I mean, they probably just, didn't. That just sounds exciting. Yeah, very exciting. Yeah, we uh, just just for our practice that we're we joined. <laughs> well said. Anyway, <laughs> you can't even see me. <laughs> well, you can see me. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the twenty-week anatomy scan. The end. <laughs> well, well, talk to you later. Uh, this isn't gonna get better. <clears throat> 20 week anatomy scan. I'll be 20 weeks in two days. So that answered my question about like, are they gonna wait until my next appointment in a month? And I'll be 20, almost 24 weeks or do they just go ahead and do it? They just go ahead and do it. So pretty exciting. The only thing is we don't wanna see the gender. And I, I told Dr. Holt last time because I figured I would have this anatomy scan and then I wouldn't see him again for another month. And I was like, by the way, we're not finding out the gender. And he was like, oh, okay, I didn't know that. Cause like I could see it, they, them recording it or whatever from the 20 week scan and then okay. not, not communicating that we don't want to know. So everybody's informed, we don't want to know. I, it's weird how I transitioned from wanting to know to really not wanting to know I now. Know, it is weird. Now I'm in. Yeah, weird. Fully committed. Glad to hear it. Yeah, and I don't have a, a feeling anymore of what it is. 
so that's weird too. I will be, the, the thing was before I would have been shocked if it was a girl. Now, I don't think I would be shocked either because way. Because of all the, all the old wives tales? No, not because of that. I'm not sure why. But the old wives tales did all point to girl, mostly. So, anyway, um, this is, this is Much the, better lighting. Ah, oh, yeah, that is better. Can we just stay behind this cliff right here? <clears throat> this is the scan that with the twins, I almost passed out during. It's weird that we're like at that stage. I also remembered I was having bad enough kidney problems that we had a kidney, or like an organ ultrasound before we had the anatomy scan, remember that? Yes. So I was having, I had hydronephrosis, which is where your, the tube that drains the urine from your kidney <laughs> gets blocked by the baby and then your kidney gets like swollen and like overpacked with fluid. And it was hurting me. Some people I guess don't have any trouble with it and they have hydronephrosis with no problems, but it hurt me. Um, I've had that a couple of times already this pregnancy, but not near what it was last time. So that's good. So, anyway, we'll keep you posted. Husqvarna I'm sure. dealership right there. Oh, very nice. We're looking into a robot lawnmower. Oh. So if you own no one, or if you know somebody that owns one, please let us know if they like it. Because mm -hmm. they're a little bit pricey. Yeah, it's it would be... But it's one of those things where if I have to mow the lawn you know, twice a week and it takes an hour or two each time... It's worth it. It's probably worth it. The other thing is, like, if we decide we're only going to be in this house for two years, then our new house presumably won't have a lawn that's big enough to warrant having a robot mower. So it's like... But we would sell it. Yeah, that's true. At least we get some money Recoup back. Recoup a little bit of it. Okay. We'll keep posted. Went pretty well. I'd say. You we, didn't... Uh, we have a baby. You didn't get lightheaded this time. I did get lightheaded. Oh, you did? I just didn't pass out. <laughs> I was taking deep breaths. And it wasn't near as bad as the first time. Right, yeah. But I think just a combination of being on your back and then pressing. Like, they're pushing. She was pushing hard, too. Really? To try to get, like, the right angle. Yeah, the which, profile or whatever. Exactly. So, whatever she needs to do to get what she needs. But pushing on my vena cava. We didn't find out the gender. She was very, like, look away if you don't want to see. She knows a thousand percent confident what it is so but she just would refer to it as baby the whole time which was really good she was poker face and i was like so if i said girl what would you say she said i wouldn't say anything or what, is that what she said yeah. something like that she was she was good yeah she was good and then i was like maybe we should have her write it down so my mom could know because she really wants to know but then mom also told people i was pregnant before i did exactly so Probably Barb, not a good bet. Barb can't be trusted. <laughs> she can't handle surprises <laughs> at all. Uh, so everything's good, it seems like. I mean, she didn't say a whole lot, but she, I mean, she took all the measurements she needed. I'm measuring right on track for my due date. I'm 19 weeks, five days today, and the baby's measuring 19 weeks, three days, based on all of the measurements. How much did... 33 percentile in weight. He or she weigh? Yeah, it was like 10 ounces. 10 ounces. So over a half a pound? Yeah. Pretty cool. Makes Pretty it, exciting. Makes it feel more real when you witness an ultrasound. Yeah, when you can see all their parts. Yep, definitely has all of their fingers and toes and had their feet up by their face. Yeah, thing's the, flexible. Yeah, no kidding. The so, thing. The that thing. thing. The thing is flexible. It's hard when you can't call it a boy or a girl. I know. Calling it it, it sounds like really... Insensitive. Yes. But, impersonal. I mean, what are you going to do? Baby. We call it baby. Yeah. Like bear. So I'll insert a picture. We've decided that we're gonna really make an effort to like get the kids used to Rachel holding a baby and them playing with the baby. So last night, Rachel was reading to Lyndall and she had her baby in her hand. It was mm -hmm. really cute. She was, yeah, it was really sweet. We'll put it on, we'll put it on Instagram as well. Yeah. Um, the thing is, like, they have their babies, which our friend from Australia, Tanya, sent them, and they love them. There's a boy and a girl baby, and they love holding them and playing with them. And I'm like, I'll just start carrying one of those around, like, periodically, and just say like I can't hold you I'm holding the baby and just practice but those are their babies I need another baby <laughs> we need a third a third baby we need well, a sixth baby a fifth, around here sixth baby yeah so anyway that's the plan Let's we're going to breakfast we're gonna eat breakfast 
of Old Eatery. Good coffee, good food, good company. That's what I like to hear. Oh boy. Oh boy. Are you excited? Yes, salivating. So I tried Brad's coffee here, and I said, sometimes like a, a weak cup of diner coffee is exactly what you need. And Brad said, That's what the doctor ordered. Literally. Literally. Get it? Because he's a doctor. <laughs> we didn't show any close ups. No, we didn't. Of this earlier. Um, this one's one of these two. It's probably the best. Wow. I know. Can you see the lip? Yeah, totally. Okay, so. I guess that's the chin, bottom lip, top lip, nose, forehead. That top lip is just like Bear's was when he was in utero. Uh oh. <laughs> it stu stuck out a little further. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but the most important thing is that they're healthy. That's right. What a fun day. It was fun. I'm really glad I got to go to the ultrasound. Me too. It was awesome. Yeah. Makes it feel a whole lot more real. Really? Yeah. I've been feeling a lot of movement lately, and I think that's what really makes it feel real for me. Like, those kicks are the best. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Thanks again to Diaper Company for sponsoring this video. So go to trydiaper.com slash Brad and Rage. Get started today. There's a link in the description below if you just want to click on it. Hit that subscribe button. We just have a lot coming up in our lives. Absolutely. So we're going to be around for some exciting times. We went from delays on the house to hopefully closing early. Oh.